how do you do there? This is Mike McGee, your DVD, Blu-ray, physical media movie reviewer. And um, I'm kind of late in reviewing what I'm about to talk about. And it's due to a defects. Now, first of all, this is what came. The great, the great British hype, heist. It was made last year, released this year in 3D, and it, be, it comes in Polaroid and anaglyphic. Now we're going to take it out. Now here's the back. The back has three-dimensional anaglyphic scenes. <laughs> And it reads, L uh, uh, LST Studios presents The Great British Heist. It's in 3D. And uh, if I can look clearly, uh, it says The Great British Heist. Three criminals on the run after escaping the police during a bank heist pass. It's escaped to a... Uh, count, uh, escape to the country and take refuge in a youth club taking local woman and her daughter hostage. Uh, when one of the criminals uh, notices a distinct scar on the mother, he proclaims that she must be uh, the infamous Mama Brown. The youngest the youngest head of the uh, London crime uh, family in the 90s. When mysterious, when mysteriously, when mis okay, mysteriously disappoint, dis when mysteriously disappeared, when the law closed in, a psychological game of, uh, of cat and mice begins. With the police surrounding them, and an escape plan needed, uh, the uh, criminal must face the, the fear of the, fe of, the, of the law outside and wondering um, inside the club, and one, excuse me, wonder if the inside of the club and their hostages, uh, all she seems to be, now it's in zero regions, which means it works on all players. And if you don't got a 3D player, they're supposed to give you 3D glasses for anaglyphic, but I've already, uh, no, here it is. Here's the 3D glasses they give you if you don't have the Polaroid player. And that's very good, because even though the color is going to be messed up, and maybe they should have bought a license for color code, which makes, which barely messes up the color compared to anaglyphic. This is the best, and it's public domain. And uh, here's the, um, here's the, uh, the disc. You can see it. And also, it comes with the, it comes with a badge. It comes with a badge that says the Great British Heist 3D, which you can iron on your shirt. It also comes with three-dimensional anaglyphic scenes. Well, here's the problem. When I played the movie, it froze at the near end. I tested whether they play and it froze. And finally today, where's, where's it? finally today I got a replacement from Britain. And I'll open it up. So uh, it's lucky I didn't throw the box away because they didn't give a good box replacement. Anyway, I'm going to replace the box with one of those uh, little smaller things.
I got a replacement. And let's hope, let's pray and cross our fingers and hope that this disc is okay and it not only doesn't freeze at the uh, end of the titles, which this version did here, but also it plays smoothly. Okay, I'll discuss to you at it, of this movie after I watched it. Well, hello again. I just finished reviewing the movie and here's the results of it. This. Well, I found that this picture was shot in 10 days. I couldn't believe it. It, it looked so professional. It, ju it just, it, it, it just, it, it just looked so great for a 10 day shoot. The actors would, were good. It didn't look like it was hurried and it didn't sound like they were reading their lines. The 3D cinema photography was perfect. It felt like you were being drawn into the characters. How the story goes that uh, it's about three bank robbers played by Richard Harding, David Brooks, and Kate Cantell. And uh, it seems like David Brooks is talking about a famous bank robber named Mama Brown, and how she was the best bank robber ever until she got caught and she disappeared. Now they prepared for the bank robbery. Uh, due to the limits of the budget, it shows after the bank robbery has happened. They seem to have run out of gas at a community center. And uh, there, were, there are two uh, volunteers, a mother and a daughter. And um, Cornelia Harding, who plays the, uh, the daughter, and Denise Hilton is uh, portraying the... Uh, mother and as I said before they're volunteering at the at the country community center and she's punishing her daughter for uh, dating a drug addictive uh, boyfriend when uh, when they run out of gas near the community center they go up and ask uh, Denise Hilton if they can go in and use the bathroom and it turns out a surprise attack towards mother and daughter. It seems like somehow the police found out that the robbers were at the community center. Now they got to do something to get out of it by taking a hostage. The question is about this picture, how, how were they found out? Now they got to call inspector detective played by Aunt Payne, that's his name, to make negotiations. And it seems like Kane Cantwell attempts to rape um, Denise, and uh, she defends herself, and he falls on his knife. Now he needs a paramedic. There's a great social comment in the picture. Uh, the reason why Cantell and Harding and Brooks decide to ban bank robber as, as Denise felt that Harding ain't the kind of person to rob the bank, and he states how the wealthy controls the British government, the tax-cheating wealthy, and hurting the poor, and uh, that's his excuse to rob banks. After the paramedics comes in and tries to stop the people and can't tell stabs her, It seems like uh, it seems like Harding takes the, the mother and daughter hostage into the car, and the daughter manages to escape, and there's only the mother. And there's a surprise ending in it. Was the mother played by Denise? Was really Mama Brown? Now the filmmaker's daughter, Sophie West. Uh, shows up in flashback, flashback, uh, flashbacks, uh, 
uh, as Harding's daughter. Well, the way Philip West did this film is that he shot the film in long shots in order to bring the audience into the film so if the actors flubbed their lines, they'd have to do the whole thing again. And due to the bulkiness of the camera, some of the shots were done in 2D and converted by Andrew Mucci. And instead of one of those uh, picture scripts, they used a dot, they used diagrams with stick people in it. And uh, all in all, this was one of the best independently made 3D movies ever. But here's the problem. When I first got it, it was on the Polaroid side that the near ending credits would freeze and in the Polaroid side of the trailer, near the ending of the trailer, it would freeze too, but the anaglyph side um, was okay. And so I, I sent them a message on that, the company, and they sent me another copy claiming they fixed everything up, and guess what? It was the same thing. So all in all, it seems like I had bad luck uh, is that it seems like uh, my copy wasn't good. I, I hope your copies weren't, weren't bad, but my copies weren't good. And guess what? They, they gave me a refund. And I'm not saying it was their fault. They said they suggested it might be a compatibility issue. You know, Blu-ray players are funny. Well, if you like this review, please comment and subscribe. Criticize it or like it. It's up to you. Bye.